track. Oh, you gotta look it up. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, they oh. went all out with the the logo. <laughs> wow! Y'all cl- keeping it classy as always. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, BLM said, fuck your coach. You know what's funny, though, is BLM was started by Juice Crew. Yes, everything. Just like <laughs> These people are fucking idiots. <laughs> God, oh, no. this, is, this is literally disgusting, man. Like, if it was the other way around, man, these, this is coming from a group of people that, like, literally, if you tied a rope to just, like, to your garage pull your garage door down and your garage door was up and a black person walked past and they saw that they would fucking literally cause an international they would dox you they would fucking get you fired <laughs> they would go in front of your front door and protest shit oh loot the gucci story dude literally like literally, if there was any piece of rope with a if that was just in a loop anywhere in public. It don't matter what kind of rope it was, how thin it was, how thick it was. Pause. It would be a <laughs> international story just from goddamn some it, rope in a loop. It could be a, a rope on your soap. <laughs> so yeah, you be... start doing glide buys on people. That's terrifying. Because, I mean, they have a hard enough sh- time hitting their target with both feet on the ground. <laughs> In the air. Yeah. Maybe that's what they need. I, you don't know. BLM Los Angeles says, we too understand what it means to be surveilled, dehumanized, mm. property seized, family separated. <laughs> Our people criminalized and slaughtered with impunity. <laughs> Locked up in droves, and when we resist, they call us terrorists. We too dream of a world where our people may live freely on decolonized land. Mm-hmm. May the borders, checkpoints, prisons, police, and watch lists that terrorize our communities crumble, and may the world we build from their ashes honor those who have fallen in the struggle. Dang. This is Chicago. This is in Chicago. This is BLM Los Angeles. Los Angeles this so is, it's a few places. Uh, so black people, right? This is why I hate black people, right? So we we always jump on every fucking train. Every train. Mm-hmm. We we lose sight of every, everything. That, that's why we like fake. It's like we lie about everything. It's like, yeah, we fight for this right here. Something else happened. Oh, we with this. It's like we don't we don't stand for nothing. We just, I yeah. swear to God. We, no, but, we but just, to be fair, conservative, to be fair though, bro, blacks are the true Israelites though. And they are getting, you know, <laughs> J-damned every day, just like the Palestinians. Yeah, exactly. It was just the same. We had the exact same plight as the Palestinians. I mean, yeah. you know, casualty rates are probably comparable. We were just fighting with Ukraine, saying we was for Ukraine. Black was for Ukraine. Now, we was, remember we were, the, we were with the migrants? Like, oh, look how people are in. Now in Chicago, New York, like, fuck those motherfuckers. Go back to your country, yeah. mother... It's like we we're like we're stupid. I don't know. We're just stupid people. We're yeah. confusing, annoying. <laughs> chaos. It's just chaos embodied. It's just sad, man. It's like literally like a child that you know goes to an extreme until it hurts itself badly. Wow. But doesn't learn. <laughs> The group Chicago chapter announced a stand. Now, while most of the world's disgusted by this Hamas attack, Black Lives Matter liked it. The group Chicago chapter announced they stand with Palestine and included this image of a paratrooper, as in the terrorists who parachuted into Israel to behead babies. BLM stands with them. BLM officially burned through all their political capital now. Plus, they burned through millions in donations. They spent the money on mansions. This is the true face of BLM. They're on the side of terrorists. They just announced it. And they're not alone. 35 student groups at Harvard University issued a joint statement blaming Israel for Saturday's attack. 
These are future business leaders, future politicians, future members of the press. And they're backing the side that's beheading babies. Hedge fund manager Bill Ackman had a brilliant We all know how they feel about babies. Of everyone who signed the letter. <laughs> Make sure future employers know exactly who they're hiring before they send an offer sheet to a Harvard grad. But it's not just in colleges. This kind of ideology is already in the halls of Congress. Rashida Tlaib squad to display the Palestinian flag outside her office. She also had a pride flag outside. There's a bunch of boomers like throwing their house slippers at the TV right now watching this. I can't believe this fucking terror squad. Believe what happened to my country? We got terrorists and gays and gay terrorists. <laughs> Yes, Grandpa. I like those people. I like those type of people, though, because they be real with the shits. Jesus is about to come back any minute. Wow, this is this is crazy, man. Oh, Tranny Al Qaeda Barbie dolls. They have another message from BLM Los Angeles. They said, as the world is faced with deep questions about self determination, as we all desire and pray for a world of peace. We must stand unwaveringly on the side of the oppressed. When a people have been subject to decades of apartheid and unimaginable violence, their resistance must not be condemned, but understood as a desperate act of self-defense. Uh, salute to um, Platinum Pig when he says, hold on, um, no, salute to, um, whoa, real um yeah salute to john or not he says please take my picture down bro okay you got it man that's you for real ah damn um platinum pig says these are the only migrants they don't let into this country which ones is that? Yeah, what are you, I was gonna say. What yeah, you? everyone is welcome here to fuck up as much as they want. Yeah, they're gonna let this. Those um, Palestinians are definitely gonna go to European countries because those are the. I mean, glider countries because those are the best ones. They'll come I here. Mean, yeah. What? Well, why would you not listen, man? Gliders are so nice, man. They give you free shit. They give you free healthcare. Some of these people have never had their teeth cleaned. They've Fuck never no. had their eyes examined. Fuck they've, no. never, they've never had a fucking um, goddamn physical and shit. Or nothing <laughs> like that. Okay? Parents, you can get Real all shit. that shit. Yeah. You know, they've never lived in a home with a light switch. And they hate the West because the West is completely cucked to Israel and the Jews crew. Mm. It's a recipe for... Uh, Great success as a so you're saying smart man once said. Terrorist attacks on American soil too. Huh? Oh, 100 percent. There's uh, is there anywhere mm -hmm. around the fish? Yeah, I, I believe that too is gonna happen, especially if they're going yeah for the soil. I mean, there's no way that these men are not here or coming here waiting to do an attack, right? It's I I find it impossible that that's not happening. Yeah, I just see grown ass yeah. men coming across the border every day. It's just grown ass men. It's really, you yeah. know, worrying for the government because, I mean, a sun man might get taken hostage or something. Well, I mean, the I, top I, priority for Biden administration. Well, I mean, I can see them radicalizing the sun man too. Like they were in that's the true. 80s. Definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly the point. They're just creating more social revolutionaries that will react when the media tells them to jump. Yeah, because the Sun Man, all I got to say is, Sun Man, look, they've been doing y'all wrong just like they've been doing us wrong. Join the revolution. Let's take them all out together. And yep. Sun Man will definitely jump with that shit. Yeah, you know, they've had great experience with the Arabs before. Well, listen, the, the, the one of the biggest things in the black community is Prislam. Most of these um, guys are, are, are a lot of fucking black dudes of, of Muslims. A lot, man. Whether they practicing or whether they really into the shit, but as far as as far as name and fucking you know, I mean for show or whatever, a lot of black dudes are Muslim. A lot, man, um, and and the, and that's one of the biggest the, the the biggest forces 
of blackness inside the penitentiary is, is, is the nation.